Sorry guys. So listen, the point of me coming on YouTube now is on Facebook, um a guy who's trying to be a rug worker, um, knows a lot about my story. Uh, an an addict for twelve years of age, uh, what traumatic stuff happened in my life. Didn't get me wrong, I'm not gonna lie here. I asked. I was craving that lifestyle, um, the criminality, craving the drug dealing scene, just craving that life. If I, if I, if I, a young boy, I'm talking like primary school, I had that in my head. I wanted to be a bit of boil. Um, and it's, the saying goes, be careful what you wish for. Because um, a lot of people wouldn't the last two minutes in my shoes. Um, because I'm only 33. I've been in recovery for three years now. I've been in prison for three years now. I've inspired a lot of people. I've inspired a lot of young kids in my area. And I wouldn't wish that life on anybody. Now, the point I'm trying to make here is I've actually been asked to go out there with you. Well, not a lot, but a few. My and dad's who's eating heavy birds with their reins. Can a guy who works in one of these schools for the lads that get, get, get put out of school and go to a certain school. A guy that was high up there, Stuart, he was going to try and get me in there to, to, to have a, basically a talk with the kids and let them know this isn't the life he's wanting to choose. He's willing to get nice bit to your throat. He's willing to be stabbed. He's willing to get shot or be sh shoot or be shot. He's willing to go to prison for life or take a life. So I'm not going to get this funny YouTube beef. That's why I apologise to Deca Hege. Nay suck up Nady's arse. I don't suck up Nady's arse. I want to be an inspiration. I want to show people I'm a walking miracle. I bet all odds. I mean, I should be in a wheelchair. I thank God every morning I wake up. Now, I'm a Catholic. I believe my faith. Um, I just want the best. For, I want the better world. I've got a kid growing up in this world. One day, I could be helping a lot of other kids. Kind of like I say to some people, like judges other addicts or people that are criminals. Your kid could turn to be an addict or a criminal. You just never know. My kid turn, could turn to be, well, touch wood, he doesn't, but his dad say support him all the way. Um, I'd help anybody. Um, I'd give anybody advice. I would talk to anybody about anything. Um, I'm, like I say, that man that's trying to be a rug worker. He's, um, he's, he, he does a lot of good stuff for a lot of people. And he says that he wishes uh, he came across me a long time ago. He made a Facebook page up and Ken, it went all over Scotland. Um, the, the message, the feedback was phenomenal. Son stupid were put in, some son stupid were put up. There was nothing to do with the page. Um, again, I was trying to help people out. And somebody reported it was on stupid and I'm not even caught up with computers and shit like that, right guys, and the page got turned down. Uh, upset a lot of people. So I thought, okay, Matt, I'll take it to the next level. Uh, I'll come on YouTube and I'll try and help whoever listens to my stuff. Now, I've got the pictures to prove a lot of stuff that's happened in my life. Pictures to prove I've been on wheelchair. Pictures to prove my first day walking with walking sticks. Okay, that's a young, fit, healthy lad, just playing football. Uh, I had a football career ahead of me. Party officials were interested me with John Lamb as the manager. A lot of football scouts. A lot of potential, a lot of apprentices, four different apprenticeships I had. The cocaine dealing was in my brain, cocaine dealing was in my blood, cocaine was in my mind 24-7. What did it lead to? Prison. Trauma. PTSD. Now, I'm alright now, but I could be in jail for life. Can, um, I was always one of the guys that wanted to always help other people. Like, if you owed me five hundred pounds, you only had four hundred to forget about the other hand. I was just wanting to help other people, but I was an addict before I was even an adult. I want no sympathy because your your life's laid, I believe your life's played out for you before you're even born. So basically what I say is I'm not on YouTube for no beef. I've inspired a lot of people over Facebook, I've had a lot of good message of my and dads. I mean, I had a, 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 a family that were messaging me saying they, were, they fought the world in me for me opening up, telling my stories because there's someone who's tragically stabbed to death. So now I feel bad that my Facebook journey pages are not, how many journey pages are not. So I'm hoping now I can spread awareness over YouTube. I shout out to Danny Christie. 
a shout out to everybody on Facebook that's trying to make the world a better place. Right? I know a lot of beef goes on YouTube, a lot of funny shit goes on YouTube, but I'm here to help people. Respect. Always all. Have a good safe weekend. My last video of the weekend. <laughs> good night, Vienna.